This video is brought to you by Ten, our debut hardcover book celebrating ten issues of the local project. Use the code Book Five at checkout for a five percent discount. One of the things we were really trying to capture was the spirit of a beach house, which is kind of the beach shack. A really simple building form that's not too big and is very comfortable to, to inhabit, but has a kind of very relaxed, beachy, easy lifestyle feeling about it. I'm Polly Harbison from Polly Harbison Design, and I'm the architect for the Copacabana House. The house is located in Copacabana on the central coast in Darking Junk Country. It's, it's sort of a sleepy coastal village. The site is quite an unusual site. It's long and narrow and steep, and it sits up on the hill behind Copacabana looking towards the beach. The house does present as quite a kind of strong walled courtyard house from the shared laneway. And then you open the secret little timber gate and from there you get this glimpse through to the courtyard to the beach beyond. With a challenging site like this, it really is the form of the building that can have the biggest impact on the microclimate and the livability of the space. And so by creating an L-shaped form, we've carved out the northern courtyard, we've captured that beautiful winter sun, and we've allowed the building to breathe when the strong southerly winds come up and you close down the south side but keep the north side open. And so in this way, the livability of the site is, is greatly improved. But more importantly, the form of the building is also about capturing and framing the available views. Functionally, upstairs is really um, the world for David and Sue. They have their bedroom and bathroom up on this level and, and the main living spaces. And we have a beautiful balcony that's out there that has kind of blinkered balustrades to the two sides that again are carefully editing out neighbouring buildings and a very fine galvanised balustrade that hardly interrupts the view to the beach. I am Stefan Zant, Director of Zant Building and Builder of Copacabana House. Working with Polly Harbison Designers, Polly loves and has a passion to design timber houses and I love building them, it's sort of my background. So I think our relationship in that sense really works. From a building perspective, working with timber in a minimalistic fashion is tricky in the sense that timber moves. Hardwood in particular works in strange ways, especially when you're trying to climatise it to the outside of a building where you can't control the climate. Uh, so we did some test panels to just see what was the best fixing method and to see how it was going to, to age. And it's really pleasing to come back five years later and see no split, so it's absolutely worked. In Zamp Building, we do all our own joinery in-house. is the finish of the project, in which we really enjoy doing. In this case, we've used a veneer uh, with a solid timber edge, but that is actually black butt. That process is that the veneer is selected from the manufacturer, the boards are laid up, the client comes and picks what veneer goes where, and then we fabricate accordingly. Here on this particular job, from the original house, which was a bit of fun, we kept some of the uh, strutting beams from the roof and we uh, fabricated their dining table. They wanted a certain size dining table. So just as it was a housewarming gift, we built them their dining table and the process of that, of the architects coming to the factory, designing the legs with the timber that we had, with the space that we had, and yeah, it was a nice result. One of the most important design considerations with this building was to connect the building to the beautiful pocket of remnant bush on the lower part of the site, which was something that the previous house didn't do at all. And so we tucked the extra kind of multi-generational living spaces underneath the main living area. And these rooms now have a beautiful little connected garden to the bush and you get just a little touch of filtered views through the trees to the ocean beyond. and. 
the kind of folly, if you like, of the little sheep trough, actually, is what it is, <laughs> um, that we've used as a little outdoor bath um, and shower area. When the grandkids come, they can put the plug in and fill it up, and they use it almost like a little baby pool. And it's a beautiful little oasis place to hang out on hot summer afternoons. Experiencing the Copacabana House is a sequence of contrasts. Starting from the quite harsh environment of the laneway access, you do open the door into the little courtyard and your own private world. And as the vines keep growing, <laughs> hopefully um, soon we'll be cutting out every view of every building around and you really will just be in your own secret world. This video is brought to you by Ten, our debut hardcover book celebrating 10 issues of the local project. Ten unites the very best projects from the first 10 issues of the publication into a beautiful single volume. With over 400 pages of architecture and design from both leading and emerging creatives, the hardcover book takes readers on a curated and meditative journey. The premium paper stock of the book means 10 is an enduring addition to a coffee table or library to be enjoyed for years to come. With worldwide delivery available, have 10 delivered directly to your door. Head to the link in the video description to purchase your copy now and use the code BOOK5 at checkout for a 5% discount.